So, what is up everybody? Looks like Genesis was the reveal tonight, like we all knew, but they didn't give us Yadrasil yet. They are really holding on to Yadrasil right now to really piss us off, because we know that's the unit we've been legit dying for. So without further ado, let's go over what they did show. Midnight Regalia Nyx, you legion with Midnight Regalia Himera. This is Himera, the G2. It's once return effect when a card with the same name as your vanguard is put from your soul into your drop zone. If this unit is legion, it gets 5,000 power and a crit, which is nice. One turn if you have another regalia in your center column. Soul Blast 3, draw a card. So, pretty much uh, your fruit baskets can't help you with this. The most uh, this can help you, though, I guess if this gets triggered. If this gets triggered, then yes. Uh, you can definitely soul charge it with this. And then once you do that, you can draw a card with this. So Himera doesn't need a lot of like stuff to do things, which is good. It only costs. It's pretty much a Soul Blast three unit at the end of the day. Soul Blast three, draw a card, which means as long as you can get this in the soul somehow, uh, not bad. You get a crit off this, and this effect only works once per turn because they don't want you to stack it. Because technically, um, actually no, they didn't want you to stack it. Period. Because they even made the Soul Blast three a once per turn. Okay. Sure, let's let's okay. We can allow this. I mean, you want to keep it balanced. Uh, soul Blast, you can get it in the there's a couple of ways you get this card in the soul, or you can get this card in the soul. Obvious through her own effect where she soul charges herself, and obviously, there's the effect of you know, you just soul charge do random soul charging with Sarohime Battle Maidens. So that's like another thing. But the thing about this unit is it actually became name restricted. Which I find weird, but I can understand. Uh, I can always understand that. The name restriction in the back row is weird, but I can accept that. Because Regalia does have their own G0 now, so you will have a G0 in the back row for this. But uh, yeah, I mean, technically what they want you to do with this, you Legion, Soul Blast 3, draw a card, and then you just keep going back and forth with that, and then you just Soul Charge 3 Regalias, do it again. Most likely this card's going to always maintain a crit potential. If you keep doing this effect where you soul blast, as long as one of these people go into the soul, you'll be able to do the effect. Legion is Legion. When she Legion, she just Legion's period. But when a uh, when she Legion, she's Legion. She doesn't become a vanilla anymore. She actually becomes an effect when she's Legion. So she'll maintain this effect always. So that's good. As long as she stays in Legion form, she's good to go. So with this, that being said, when we see Regalia Himera, it's not bad. When plays, put three gods in the soul, so you're soul charging three units, so you can soul charge this to prep the effect, so draw one card, give one crit. So you kind of micromanage with that, and the good thing about legioning, you possibly won't deck out, which is good. You don't want to deck out. Obviously, you're going to want to try to re-legion again, so you don't deck out. The good thing about legion for Genesis is you won't deck out as easy anymore, which is good. That's what we're looking for. We don't want to deck out anymore, but if we Legion, we'll always be able to keep putting back four cards because we're Soul Blasting, we're Soul Blasting, we just keep rewriting Legion after Legion, maintaining triggers in the deck, and keep doing, like, stupid stuff. But before we go more into that, let's go over Regalia of Wisdom of Courage, Brian Hilda, Lemon Break 5, Soul Blast 6, and CB2 to retire three of your opponent's rear guards, then draw a card for each unit retired. So if you retire three rear guards, you draw three cards, and then cross ride with Regalia of Wisdom Angelica. That is the break ride. So if you ride on top of this, over the break ride with this, you get to add two cards. And technically, if you do this effect, that means you get to get more oof. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck, and this is where Legioning will actually come into play. Believe it or not, Legion is OP in Genesis. It is, because not only that, you can always keep your deck at triggers. I mean, all right, let's now kind of dive into you. So this unit is nice. This is final turn. It only costs CB2 to retire everything in the front row. You draw three cards, pretty much, if they have three units, and you go for games. So that's three attacks on Vanguard. You win, you win, you lose, you lose. So this card's really good. But let's go over the fact that Legion in Genesis is amazing. It's going to be too good because technically speaking, if you could soul charge your entire deck, you'll be good to go. Because every time you Legion, you're putting triggers back in the deck. And since most of this deck for Regalia is going to be Legion based, 
you'll always be able to keep riding on top soul blast 3 riding on top soul blast 3 so believe it or not genesis is the one clan in legion right now that's going to be able to keep going over unit after unit after unit if you draw said units which you might if you do this draw effect because you're trying to maintain your deck so in a sense you're never gonna deck out anymore with genesis now there's not really a negative to genesis when you over soul charge anymore because guess what just keep running your legions from your hand on top of legion on top of legion and guess what you'll never run out of cards and every time you put your triggers back guess what you'll always be healing you always keep drawing your legions you're just recycling the deck with even some vanilla cards if you wanted there's a lot of stuff there but recycling the heals is gonna be too good it's like i feel like with this i feel like you could never really run out of heals or deck out the only way you lose if you couldn't recycle your heals anymore and that's if all your heals went to the damage zone that's a fact i say that because this is ridiculous very very ridiculous genesis and legion are the best combination for this format and genesis could return very very strong and obviously if you play stand decks then genesis even hurts even more Obviously, I'm thinking stands because you're going to keep recycling. You're going to have so many attacks. You're going to have all these triggers. That's game over. But yeah, Genesis and Legion are really stupid together. Because A, Genesis' whole thing was you're soul charging to an extent until you have all your triggers. And then you're just doing play by play, Fortuna, draw cards. But now, we're in a state of Legion with these guys. Where if we soul blast our, let's say, apples and grapes cinnamon no not cinnamon apples and grapes oranges apples and oranges or oranges and grapes uh the fact that we keep doing that and most of the deck might just be regalia g2s or something and G regalia g3s that we just soul charge with our regalia g2 here and that's gonna actually keep the deck in a, the deck in a certain thing i like to call synergy so there is a lot of things in genesis genesis with legion is really really good like honestly i would i would love to actually soul charge in my entire deck till i'm left with triggers because that just means more more or less if i draw another legion i ride on top i return triggers i get stuff back my combos are back to normal it's like you always have something there's a trigger on the horizon and if you were bringing your heals, if you trigger said heal, you're still adding more fire to your drop zone to Legion again. And if you trigger your heals on your turn, guess what? Recycle, because you're playing lots of Legion units in Genesis. You just got to make sure you have the G2s, and the G2s are Soul Blast. Keep that in mind. You still have to play Genesis smart. Genesis is going to be a smart deck, period, because technically you got to make sure you can maintain your G2s that need the Legion Mate. Yagdrasil has her Legion Mate, and this has her Legion Mate. So you got to make sure you keep track of that when you do Soul Blasting, when you do this, when you do that, and you're going to be really good to go here. Genesis, I think it's going to be really, really strong in Legion format due to the fact they get to their triggers quick, they Soul Charge enough to get to said triggers. You're good to go. You're going to be really, really good to go there. I'm telling you. It's going to be good. Good for you. Good for me. Good for Genesis to return to the meta stronger than before. So, yeah, there's that. Genesis Regalia is looking really strong, and I wouldn't mind maybe running this if this was one of those endgame cards. But after seeing that, if I keep doing Legion plays, right on top of Legion, right on top of Legion, after I Soul Blast the Legion that's in my soul, because I Soul Charged everything, stuff like that, obviously you know I'm going to go for the, the play, you know? It's like, oh, I'm at one card? Ha, you thought Legion? I'm not going to put any triggers back? GG's? Lots of things here! That was the one thing that I actually was going over in my head today, was like, Genesis plus Legion is really good. There's no more decking out. That's that's just the beauty. And that's going to be the thing with um, DI's Legion. Because they need 20 cards in the soul. But if you Legion, you put 4 cards back. Which means you put all your chariots back. And you just keep restocking your deck. And you have a 3 crit Ragey. You have a 3 crit Legion that actually doesn't die. Yeah. 
But yes, Genesis didn't give us Yadrasil, but we did get a look into how Genesis will function in Zero's format, and let's just say it's gonna be a lot more stupider than you think. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe. I'll see you all another time. Peace out.